Hey, what's going on, you guys? Bring your friends here. Today, I wanted to make a video to show those of you who had, who always wanted to stream but could not just because you did not have that good of an internet connection. So today, I'm going to show you how to get started as far as what settings you should put into open broadcaster software. Now, granted, I'm going to show you settings for only people who have a 1.5 upload or lower. So that being said, um, how am I able to achieve this? Well, one is you have to have a pretty decent computer to compensate for the low upload that you have as far as internet goes. And then my settings for my computer are an AMD FX8350 8-core processor for gigahertz, 12 gigabytes RAM, 16-bit operating system, and a NVIDIA GTX 460 graphics card. So that being said, let's get into the uh, the settings on OBS in order to set it up so we can get everyone going. So go to settings, settings, and we'll just start from the top down. So go to encoding. You want to go to put your quality balance at three, and then you're going to put your max bit rate at a thousand. And use custom buffer size is unchecked, so it should look pretty much exactly like this at the end. As far as your bitrate for your audio, I put it on 112. I don't really notice too much of a difference going from 112 and like 192 or 160 for the most part. Not really worth the bitrate in my opinion, but I just stick with 112. Going over to broadcast settings, of course you want to go to live stream. Right now I'm using this as a file output, so go to live stream and then choose the server that's obviously the best for you or the closest to you. And then pretty much everything else is pretty much going to stay the same. Auto reconnect on minimize network impact checked. Going over to video. Now the custom resolution I have 1920 by 1080. That is, you want to match this to the resolution that you're using in game. So I always have a resolution of 1920 by 1080. And then here's the mo important part: the resolution downscale. You're going to downscale twice, so 960 by 540. And the reason why you're doing that is obviously a your internet cannot really handle the resolution because I can actually stream at 1920 by 1080 but it's whenever I move is when like everything just freezes and you're screwed anyway so going down the 2 960 by 540 is probably the best I have had so far like I streamed for you know quite a bit and for not even for myself as well and I've had a lot of feedback on this and everyone says that when I streamed on 965 540 and I've also agreed with this that it's the best results for for my internet and my computer so 960 by 540 bilinear as fast as FPS is 30 going down the audio and you're disabling arrow by the way disabling arrow basically arrow is for anybody who uh, who has a capture card and is using screen capture not game capture so you're gonna be wanting to use game capture Going down the audio, pretty much input your speakers, input your mic. Everything is pretty much uh, the same. I changed my mic auxiliary boost to four, and I'll tell you why. Is because on my mic, I have it down to five, and if I put it any higher than five, and I start screaming, then it is the worst uh, sound you will ever hear in your natural-born life, and you will regret it. And your stream, well, actually, you won't regret it, but your streamers your viewers will regret it and probably hate you forever and uh, just go and talk bad about you for the rest of your life so that's the reason why just I have a really sensitive mic going down to advanced your multi-threaded optimizations are going to be checked priority class is above normal and the important part the CPU preset you're gonna put that down to slow now that is dependent on because uh, I mean you can't have a slow computer and a slow internet because obviously you need you need at least something so for me I have a fast processor so putting it down to slow is the preset to go and the only reason why it works is because I'm downscaling the resolution like one cannot be there without the other otherwise you would get a lot of tearing and it pretty much wouldn't work more or less so pre preset to slow your keyframe interval is still two and pretty much everything is unchecked other than allow other modifiers on hotkeys and use multi-threaded optimizations. Nothing else is checked. Network, by an interface, you can just leave it at default. Latency, tuning factors 20. And the microphone. 
and going down to the microphone noise gate just negative 32 negative 26 you can kind of tweak this to you want there's no really set uh, preset for it and then yeah other than that it's just uh, it's just customizing uh, presets or whatever and I'll probably make another video to uh, to mess with that or whatever for you but that is the core setup that you need to uh, in order to stream pretty decently almost with any game so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, give me a like if this has helped you especially people who don't have uh, promising internet like myself but have a decent computer so it's something to get you started uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video share it around with your buddies and thanks for stopping by I'm bring your friends and I'm out of here adios